welcome back to another video. So I thought it was about time I did a fleet update. I've been asked quite a lot what's happening with the 330i with the DME issue, what's happening with the Alpina, uh, and obviously I've got the, the Rover 200 R3 and the P11 Primera GT. So if you want to skip through, uh, have a look in the description below. I've put uh, timestamps for each section. Um, but I'm going to start with the Alpina. So, as you know, I've done a lot of work on that. Uh, I was chasing my tail with um, uh, air intake temperature sensor problem, which kept coming back, putting it into limp mode. The car's currently in with uh, BM Minitech. It's had a uh, timing chain, had a flywheel. They didn't do the clutch. In fact, they said the flywheel didn't really need doing either. Um, but as of having the remap, I wanted to make sure that it was perfectly fine. If it has been replaced in the past, which they thought it possibly has, it would have been probably at least 40,000 miles ago. So worth having done. Uh, also a remap, uh, EGR delete, new vacuum lines, uh, a couple other little bits and pieces um, to do with the interior. Um, and a video I haven't put out yet, but I bought uh, a leather interior for it for £42 off eBay. It was in a right state uh, and I've managed to basically make it look like new. So there is a video coming on that. Um, air intake temperature sensor problem. It's not the sensor. They've found out that the sensor is fine. Um, so it's either a short in the wiring or possibly a DME issue, which is a bit of a pain because I've also got the DME issue with the 330i. So we'll see what happens. I should get that back next week now uh, with a, a big bill as well. It's going to be over £2,000 for that. So worth it though. Can't wait to get it back and actually start driving the car. Next kind of fleet is the 330i manual uh, M Sport. Uh, haven't really done that much to it. Uh, cosmetically haven't cleaned it up because it's still not running uh, I really don't know what I'm going to do with that I've had the ECU tested I've sent it away to another company uh, to an ECU testing company they weren't able to test the ECU because of the firmware that's on it is one that they can't test so I'm really hoping I've got a spare one now I'm really hoping that the guy that did the uh, original test on it uh, he, he's pretty confident that he can um, code the new one to, to match my old one. Um, as soon as this rubbish weather clears up, I can actually get out there and uh, get the CAS unit out as well, which he needs, and then um, see how we go with that. But um, losing a bit of heart in that car at the moment, so I'm just hoping that uh, I can get it running. Uh, next issue or next car, the Primera GT. Um, haven't done any more videos on that because I it may be featured on uh, another channel. Um, if you've seen Johnny Smith's channel, uh, Late Break Show, he I've been talking to their team about it possibly being part of one of their um, barn find. Um, videos where they come along and uh, he comes along and gets it running so I'm waiting for a call from them on that um, once that's running I'll get it back home and uh, see what needs doing on that so yeah I haven't forgotten about it but uh, I don't want to touch it now until I know what's happening with um, with the late break show and finally the R3 Rover 200 that was my granddad's <clears throat> um, it's still sitting in the driveway, it's still got three flat tyres because the alloy wheels I got for it, uh, the tyres were no good, They all three of them went down. Uh, I've got a spare alloy for one that was chipped or cracked and at some point I need to get four new tyres and take it for an MOT. So again, it hasn't been forgotten about, every time I walk out of the house I see it and I really need to do something with it. But um, as you'll know, when you've got projects, you just go from one to the other. And uh, unfortunately at the moment, it's not um, not top of my list. So that's the four main cars. Still got the Passat, 
uh, still using that as a daily car, done a couple of thousand miles in it now, uh, it's been fine. Um, and I think that's, yeah, that's it. But, um, I haven't got anything else. Oh, the two series, but uh, that's just our family car. So, some more videos to come, but um, just wanted to put this one out just to uh, let everyone know that I haven't, haven't gone missing, the cars are still there, and uh, I will be creating some more videos on them soon. Till the next one, see you later.